Hi and welcome to Old School Rhythm and Blues Guitar. It is time for the Rhythm Guitar Lesson for April through June 2018. By request, we're going to take a look at Hank Ballard and the Midnighters. Work With Me Annie. I had a request for this. I'm not sure if it's Work With Me Annie or Annie Had a Baby. So I'm going to kind of allude to both of them, but we're going to focus on Work With Me Annie. Sounds very simple, but the more I listen to it, I think there's some kind of subtle chord stuff going on there that's really kind of cool. I don't know this for sure. And so this is just my opinion, my theory on this. I might be completely wrong. And that's one of the reasons I do these channels, Old School Blues Guitar and Old School Rhythm and Blues Guitar, to, so we can work together and figure out some of these tunes. Annie Had a Baby, or Work With Me Annie, is in the key of E. It's got this really cool guitar intro. <laughs> goes into E. And when I listen to the song, I can't tell exactly what's going on. This is what I think is going on. Let me play it one time, and then I'll explain it to you. I hear something going on other than just straight chords. At first I thought that he was playing something like that, which it could be, and then when he goes to the four, and this so it's an E, A7, and then E, and then it's a three chord progression, B7. There's no turnaround in there. So that's what I thought it was. But the more I listen, I hear some little vamp, something subtle. And this is what I think it is. I think over the E, he might be doing something like hammering into it from an open to an E chord. I play a two-fingered E because I play country blues on the acoustic guitar, and that's just the way I've gotten used to playing it. I hear a little bass, and then I hear the treble strings as well. And I hear the guitar kind of mimicking what the backup vocals are doing. Um, um, I can't sing, but that's what they're doing. Something like that. Or it could be something like this. I don't think it's that. There's some kind of little vamp going on based on that, on that E chord. So it's in E, and that's what he's doing something with that. And then when he goes over the, the four, this is kind of weird, but I hear an A and then an open, open string. If we were playing the first position bar chord A, it would be like this. But since we have the, the nut here, you know, it's just open. That's what I think he's doing. Something like that, because I hear that going on behind the vocal. Again, it's really hard to hear the guitar. I tried turning it up loud, I put earphones on, I tried listening to it in my car, and I just can't hear it clearly. I even watched some of the videos of Hank Ballard later in his career, but the guitar players don't seem to be playing the way it was played on the record, at least I, I don't think so. And then the B7. A7. In fact, I don't think he does an A7. When he comes around from the 5 to the 4 to the 1 on the song, I think he goes back to that pattern. So it's like this. That's what I think is, is happening there. Now when he goes to the, the chorus part, it starts out on the 1 and he goes something like this. trouble with. I hear something on the E. So it's like, I can't remember the, the vocal, the, the words of the song. There's a little, little like 
three note thing in there, but I can't for the life of me figure it out, figure out what he's playing. I did this, which is a blues lick, which is all I know. And I, you know, if you can think of what he's doing here, tell me. Now over the A, I hear this, some kind of chord lick. Actually, I just remembered, I was just listening to this again this morning. And over the E, I hear something like this, maybe. Some kind of bend. You know, bend. And I'm bending up on the second and third strings of the second fret. Something's going on there. Now the A. I either hear like some double stop, maybe three, two, open on the second and third strings, but it sounds more to me like you make this long A shape, make an A chord, put your pinky on the fifth fret of the first string, and I think he's doing a double stop, going from the fifth fret, fourth fret, back to the second fret on the second and third string, so something like this. It's not just straight. of some kind in there. It's really cool. And whatever is going on is very subtle and it works perfectly with the song. It's just hard to hear. The guitar is not the center of the song. It's the, the vocals and the backup vocals. So anyway, to the best of my knowledge and ability, that's the chord pattern, the rhythm pattern that's going on in Hank Ballard's Work With Me Annie. Now, Annie Had a Baby is similar and just listen to the key, it's an E. My recording that I listen to on my, on my laptop is an E flat, which it isn't, it can't be. It's gotta be the guitar is tuned, tuned differently, or I don't know, the speed or something is off. It's gotta be an E, it's played out of E position. So if that was your request, listen to that. And that, that song seems to be a lot more straightforward. Well, Annie had a baby. But uh, Work With Me, Annie, has got something going on with these chords, the one and the four, the E and the A. And you give it a listen, see if you think I'm right or if I'm crazy, and leave some positive comments, some productive, constructive comments, and we'll try to figure this thing out. And if I'm completely wrong, I'll come back later and, and correct it. Whoever requested this, thank you. Thanks for supporting this new channel. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I'll be back again in a few months, and we'll take a look at another chord rhythm pattern from the great R&B songs, anywhere from the 1940s all the way up into the soul era of the 60s. See you then.